I have no orbs. <laughs> I made an alt account. <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> Alright, hello, my name is Jar Secrets, and today we'll be summoning on a childhood encounter banner. Holy smokes, dude! Baby Lara Shell, I fucking called it. I am so excited for this. Unfortunately, my main account has fucking like 34 orbs, and I wasted them all like a stupid idiot. Did not get lucky, but we're gonna try and get our main girl here on the alt account. I got 500 orbs, so we're gonna go for like, eh, I guess 100 would be nice. And we only got one gray. So. Let's see. Let's like okay. Let's rewind the clocks back a couple uh, days, and they showed the uh, the silhouettes on on the Twitter for uh, the Faye account, and everyone said it was going to be Inez, it was going to be Tana, which you know it of course showed up to be the two of them, and people were speculating that it was a Sacred Stones banner, and I was like, dude, if it's Baby Lara Shell, I am going to scream. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll take it. I mean, whatever. Please, Lara Shell. Oh my god! It's her! Oh, she's so cute! I can tell you're excited. Oh, I am excited! She's my favorite character of the entire series. I was kind of, you know, thinking maybe they do guiding characters because, you know, it made sense because the first baby banner was for Shadow Dragon, so it kind of makes sense if they would base it on the second game, but I guess they just kept right to eight, and, uh... I was just, I was, I was ready. I was, I was ready. I knew it was coming, and there she was. I screamed like a freaking maniac because I absolutely love Lara Shell. She is the best character, hands down. Fight me right now. So, uh, Sacred Stones is actually the first Fire Emblem game, like the real, the first Fire Emblem game I've ever played. And it's a very character-driven game. It has a lot of lovable characters like Lutz, Larchelle, Tana's pretty cute, Eric and Ephraim has a pretty cute uh, dynamic as well. And the gameplay is really easy, so it's a, it's a nice game for a lot of new players to jump into because, like, even if you play it on hard, you're gonna have a pretty damn easy route because, like, just Seth hard carries. And if, if Seth doesn't hard carry, then Vanessa and Franz do too. So it's, it's just really, really good. Um, we, I was also kind of thinking, you know, it made sense if we get a Shadows of Valencia banner because we've been waiting for that for a long time. And, uh, of course, Sacred Stone, so I guess we're waiting a little bit longer for that. Anyway, uh, the five characters I guess we have here on the banner are Erica Ephraim, Tana, Inez, and Lara Shell. So, the story for Sacred Stones is pretty simple. Uh, Lion, Leon- OH! Okay! <laughs> All to count luck! We got a Layla! <laughs> Sweet! Uh, I don't think I have her on the main account, so that's pretty cool. Awesome, let's see. Uh, she is not plus attack or speed, whatever. Okay, awesome. I'm kind of happy about that, but we'll take it. So, yeah, Lion, he's uh, the big bad guy, I guess. He was Erica and Ephraim's childhood friend, and then he gets evil. And he's basically Thanos because he's purple, and he's trying to collect this, the, the five sacred stones. And that's basically the story. And what makes Lara Shell so important is because each of the sacred stones belongs to one of the royalty houses. So Tana's house, uh, Joshua's house, uh, Erica's house, and then Lara Shell. She's like L Lion. He goes around getting the, the the freaking the Infinity Stones, and he beats. He gets at all of them. Fucking Erica even like hands it to him. But Lara Shell's uh, sacred stone is the last one that doesn't get taken from everybody. And, you know, she's the clutch. She's the she's the big hero. She's the main character. I don't give a fuck what you say, Erica Ephraim. Lara Shell's the main character. So, uh... Oh! Yes! <laughs> wow! <laughs> we got her! Oh, dude! Plus attack, I'll take it. Yes! Holy shit! You, you talk about her and she shows up. Look at her artwork. She's so cute. I fucking love her, dude. She's the hero of Sacred Stones. And, like, she's so funny. She's so funny. So, like, she has this mindset where she's, like, I don't know. She's just so over the top with her characterization, which is why I love her so much. Because it leads to uh, a lot of, like, comedic uh, events and stuff. Like, there's a, there's a support chain with Ephraim where she's, like, 
She's acting like a typical teenager, you know, she's kind of like having like, you know, lustful ideas about Ephraim because Ephraim's pretty damn sexy. But she's like, oh, I'm a princess. I'm not supposed to be like having these ideas. <laughs> so there's a little banter going on uh, uh, between the two of them. Uh, if you pair Inez and La Rochelle, she also says the iconic line of, if I were not a holy woman, I would beat you senseless or something along those lines. It's hilarious. I love her, but she's actually like a really, really deep character too because she lost her parents a long time ago to fighting monsters. And so as a way to, I guess, live up to their, their legacy, she wants to become a hero just like them. And she also kind of lives off of like, you know, that, you know, missing of, you know, having parents. So, I mean, Dazla does kind of raise her as like, you know, a father, but it's not the same kind of, you know, relationship as, you know, your real dad or whatever, but... I don't know. I just I love Lara Shell. She's the best character ever. She's just awesome. I mean, I just I'm simping for her. I'm simping for her. I'm simping for the little baby version of her too because we got her. Um, who was I talking about? Yeah, Eric and Ephraim. They're kind of oh, five points. Five points. Eric and Ephraim. They're just kind of there. I mean, I think Erica's kind of cute. She's like the mini version of Mercedes. Like she's kind of nice or whatever, but. Whatever. Er Ephraim's kind of like a jock. He's like, oh, dude, I can take on any battle I want. And he's actually one of the rare lords that are actually a pretty good unit. So that's cool, too. Tana and, and Inez are kind of whatever. Inez kind of has like a... What's it called? Inferiority complex. Like, he, he likes to challenge Ephraim a lot. And he gets his ass kicked. So he's kind of gets mad at him. He's jealous, but then Tana's like, "Oh, I like Ephraim. He's so cute." Nah, 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 nah. I thought Tana would be like a really cool character because I love her design, but she's kind of boring. So, Ugh! so whatever. But just, dude, Sacred Stones is such a good game because of how many lovable characters there are. Like even Garrick and Tethys. Like, oh my god, dude. Even even Amelia. Amelia's a shit unit, and everyone likes to meme about her, but she's a pretty cute uh, character too. So. I just love Sacred Stone. It has a lot of sentimental value for me. Um, quite a... Oh! Who was that? A vamp... We got a vampire. Who was that? That... Leo. We got Leo. Okay. I don't know... Does he have an inferiority complex too? I don't know about anything about him. Alright, cool. Minus speed. I'll take it. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, recently, Lara Shell did get a refine. And I was... It was, I don't know, it was kind of disappointing because it, I don't know, I was hoping it'd be OP as shit and it just kind of ended up being, like, average at best. And, like, of course, as soon as Lara Shell gets a refine, they come out with a Reinhardt Resplendent because, you know, as soon as Lara Shell gets in the spotlight a little bit, they gotta put Reinhardt back right in. Come on, man, let my girl, sh like, let my girl be special for a little bit. But what's weird is also that, like, they decided to move on to Gen 2 units for being, uh, Resplendent. Like, Micaiah is a Resplendent. She has really good artwork, too. But, like, what about all these Gen 1 units who need Resplendent, you know? Like, Rebecca, Olivia, Florina, like, all these characters, come on. It's not fair. It's not fair. But, uh, we also did get the... Uh, Divine Toilet Paper Part 2 So that was cool I haven't talked about that It's been a while for a while And then we also have uh, The limited ones The special ones the, the limited ones They've been kind of special Because we are getting temp Tempest Trial units And they, they seem to be going in order Like before it was Ninja Hana And then it was I think uh, Ina And at some point We are supposed to get I think Winter Felix So Hey that's pretty cool You know what I'll take it. This Tethys, also a character from Sacred Stones. Awesome. So, I think we're coming up close on the end of this summoning. And I guess I'll do one more. One more. One more. Oh fuck. Uh, whatever. <clears throat> but speaking of Felix, I have been playing uh, Three Houses on stream, having a lot of fun. We are, we are playing a Blue Lines route, and it's just. It's crazy because like just the, the dynamic between the blue lines is so much fun and we're, just, we're recruiting like characters from the other houses too. Uh, let's do, let's do mm, one more, one more, one more. One, okay, perfect, we got one more gray. Yeah, like I, I love the dynamic between like 
Ingrid and Sylvain and, and Felix and Dimitri and everybody. And then, you know, Dimitri and Dudu and Mercedes and Annie. And, like, it's just, it's so cute. And I love getting, like, the other characters, too. Like, Mar Marianne and uh, Petra. So. All right. I think we're done here. Look, I don't have that many characters. Look. That's all I got on the alt account. <laughs> oh. Um. Look, we got a Lind. But. Yeah, we are very lacking here on the alt account. <laughs> oh man, but it's it's all for a good cause because um, I don't know. I got really greedy on the 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 uh, was it Su no not summer spring spring Kagero and I, I spent like four hundred orbs, which is why my main account is broke. <laughs> so uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna strictly make the uh, the main account. For Brave Mary Ann, when she comes out, I think in August, and then when Halloween Kagero and Halloween Lara Shell comes out, so I can try and get them to plus ten. And I guess next year I'll probably have to do for uh, Young, Young Lara Shell. But thank you guys so much for watching. This is a pretty nice short summoning video. You know, 100 orbs. You gotta, you gotta make it reasonable. Gotta make it work, which is nice because the alt account, like, you get orbs so damn quickly, dude. So quickly. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to watch my other videos and subscribe. Drop a comment. Let me know if you guys love Lara Shell as much as I do because I fucking adore her. And I hope you have a very good time. Bye-bye.